Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 131, no, 132 of Daisy Knits. I will get that right. So, it is a very cloudy gray day outside, and I am all over the board trying to do like four billion things. My brain's ping, ping, pinging everywhere, and I'm a hot mess. I think I might have had too much tea today. I, I might have had too much tea. Maybe that's like pinging. I don't know. Anyways, y'all didn't come to listen to me go crazy. You came to see the knitting, right? And I have a little bit to share with you. So first off, I'm going to share a finished product. Product. <laughs> a finished project. I, I have socks. So I showed you these socks last week. I know I was working on, I know I had this one, maybe I had this one finished. I don't really know. I'll tell you though, you can see the difference. This, this swoosh is wider than this swoosh. It is what it is. I'm not worried about it. This is a pattern that I invented because I knew what I wanted. I just couldn't understand the pattern. My brain didn't want to make it work. So I still have a stitch marker in this sock. My ends are woven in. The whole thing is actually like done, but I don't think I've photographed them or put them on Ravelry. I probably need to sit down and write this pattern out or at least kind of write this stitch pattern out before I forget. Do you see the head? I see his head. I have a child crawling around back here. <sighs> this is my day. It's just, anyways, the yarn is from V. And it is her, a good witch is the colorway. And I was surprised, I have a pretty good chunk of yarn left and these are really tall legs. So I'm not sure what this is going to become, but it'll marinate in my stash and eventually grow up to be something else or go into something else, who knows. So one finished product, product, project. Ah. So. That's one thing done. The other thing, I went ahead and cast on another sock because I had cold needles. And to be honest, I wanted something that was brain candy to balance out my other whip. So I have two whips and I wanted like a brain candy one that I could just pull out and go to town on when I'm out and about and didn't, I don't have bandwidth. so. I went digging um, in my Rhinebeck wool piggeriness and I pulled out my Captain Tight Pants. Do you see that? This just makes me happy. Firefly makes me so happy. This is from Into the Wool. No, Into the Wool. <laughs> I am, I can speak. I know what I mean. This is from Into the Whirl, Captain Tight Pants. And I cast them on and it's just, a little plain vanilla sock. I'm trying to think. Ring. I cast these on yesterday. Ring, ring. And now my phone's going to blow up. Sorry. Let me mute it real quick before it gets too much crazier. It's, yeah. Anyways, plain vanilla sock. It is spiraling or almost like striping with these colors. And I love it. I feel a firefly binge coming on. I feel like I need to watch firefly all the way through again. I feel like that needs to happen. The kids helped me pick out my project bag too and it's in a firefly project bag from Tangerine Designs. I know thematic there. So that is my brain candy project. My other project is um, quite brain intensive to be honest. It is the Groot cardigan. So let me see. I do have a picture here. So if I can kind of, it's not a very great picture because I print in black and white. If it's just for me, like what's the point? So that's the cardigan. It's got a heavily cabled panel down the back. It's almost like, um, more like a sweater jacket than a, than a regular everyday cardi. Um, it also has pockets. I have not done a cardi yet that has pockets in it, so I'm kind of excited about it. 
and this is how far I am. Look at that. Can you see all of that cabling already? That is one repeat and I think eight rows. Really? She's so encouraging. <laughs> so one repeat and eight rows of it right there. Um, and my little stitch, my little unicorn stitch markers. I, the group cardigan with stitch markers of unicorns just makes me snicker. I'm very much about what's making me happy. This yarn is um, a webs purchase, actually, that I picked out when I was there. I went out into the warehouse and found it. And it's North ooh, Northampton. The colorway of this is Twilight Heather. So um, I have 10 balls. I don't think it's going to take me 10 balls, to be honest, to do this full sweater. But I went ahead and got 10 balls because it's a gorgeous color. And I can do something else with it. Um, this is my Nanny Swimo project. Nanny Swimo knit a sweater in a month. This is it. So you guys are probably going to be seeing it quite a bit. Um, I'm hoping as I keep going that my brain will start clicking. It has a bit of an unusual construction. So this is the back, the back top part. And there was a little bit of short rowing. And then I'm going to pick up stitches and I'm going to do front and there's going to be armhole stuff. And then it all comes together and I go down with a swoosh. Fingers crossed with a swoosh. <laughs> um, my gauge is not what the pattern says. I don't know if maybe I went with too fine of a yarn. I, this is a worsted. I think I needed a heavier worsted to get her gauge. Um, so I am doing a size up, maybe two sizes up, um, and my row gauge is not, my row gauge was closer than my stitch gauge, but it is what it is. I'm going to make this work because I really like this pattern, and I want to wear it. I want to wear it this winter and enjoy the beautifulness of it. So that's what I have going, just those projects. Um, I did do some spinning, and I finished spinning the singles that I had on my bobbin, but I didn't ply them even. I thought about it and then I spent most of today running around with kids and projects and things. So I didn't even get a chance to ball wind that off to do um, a two ply. It happens, but this is my day. This is my world. Um, it is what it is, right? I will tell y'all that um, I will not have a podcast next week. I leave on Wednesday to go up to Knitting in the Mitten. Um, you can follow my progress on Instagram if you want, but I won't be podcasting next week. So you can expect a podcast the week after. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, earlier in the week, but I never know. It never works. If I plan it, it's going to go sideways. That's how it is. And it's all good. So don't look for me next week, but look for me the week after. And maybe in that time, I can make some good progress on the sweater. Four days out of retreat, I should be able to. We'll see. So that's what I have going. All my contact information is at the end. Lint ball. Welcome to the craziness. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.